Good Saturday morning, YouTube people. It's your old pal Jim at East Tennessee Preparedness. Hope everybody had a great week. Worked all week, that's a good thing. And off every weekend for the near future, so that's a good thing too. Get the boys out here, we're gonna mow the grass this afternoon and do some weed eating and some leaf blowing and get them leaves and put them in the compost pile and all kinds of fun stuff. And tomorrow I may take them out to the park and let them play if they be good, if they can be good today and help their old fat daddy out I'm doing some chores around here. Uh, may have misspoken about a what a my, what a mess video. It's not a mess. It's a cluster. And you know the next word that goes after that. I'm not gonna say. It's just pathetic how this was handled and carried out. Everybody knows you get your people and your equipment out and then you move your troops out if that's your plan. What a disgrace. What, what dereliction of duty. Don't have a clue. Can't come out of your basement to see what's going on because I guess they don't want to see it. So we're now arming terrorists. So. Yay for us, all our NATO allies, as liberal as they are nowadays, they're pissed. And you can't blame them. We're a joke. Welcome to the crap show. Hope everybody, well, you get the government you deserve, so. I don't know, I guess I deserve it too, but I didn't vote for the moron. And I know I shouldn't, I try not to get political, but this is, angers me, ticks me off. We went from, I don't know, we're just a, a worldwide laughing stock now. Al-Qaeda and ISIS will be back. Can't mow down here right now, it's too wet. The well, sun will be up in a few minutes and then I'll be complaining about how hot it is. How hot it is. Checking the garden beds I planted, see if I see anything coming up in them yet. I'm doing a couple, but not in this one. The beans are blossoming. My tomatoes are still not turning, on it. Cucumbers are eh, eh. But I've done some other stuff this week to get ready. I won't stop mentioning a lot of the stuff I do. You guys know the basics of prepping. If you don't, there's, you know, food, water, shelter, and a way to secure it. Everybody knows that. How you want to secure it is your business, depending on where you live and what you're allowed to have. And I'm afraid if you don't have your boom booms and pew pews and freedom seeds right now, you can still get the boom booms, but I found some freedom seeds the other day. I just went up there to look around, so, but they're expensive. Excuse me, I wish I'd have bought more when I, when they weren't so expensive. But that's it, I'm gonna get busy here today. I'm gonna to do some stuff with the green beans. They're starting to really grow. I'm gonna have to twirl them around where I'll have a good way to pick them. Hopefully I'll get to pick them. Cause I love green beans. It's my favorite vegetable. I could eat it every day and not complain a bit. So let me know what you guys think about uh, the mess that's going on over in Afghanistan. I know I'd like to know if you're a, if you're a vet and you were over there. What what are your thoughts about it? I think it's a sad situation. I heard that the British troops were now going out and rescuing American citizens too. The military in uh, prioritizing American citizens on the flights over here. This, no, this makes any sense to me. I just can't wrap my mind around it. I guess I'm just not as sharp as our leaders are so if we have any leaders does anybody know who the leader is who's in charge i mean if you walked up to washington say the aliens landed and they got off their spacecraft and said take me to you later who would they go to does anybody know who who is the leader because it dang sure ain't biden basement basement biden hiding with Biden just to get you a scoop of ice cream and 
call a lid on today and take you a nice nap while the world burns. Just, just hand him a fiddle. Let him start playing because that's basically what we've come to. All right, enough rants. I'll be in a better mood tomorrow when I make a video. I promise I'm always in a good mood on Sundays. Probably not going to Sunday school or church in the morning. It's a little much to drive every week, so going up for the next two Sundays. Uh, they're having their, I don't know if everybody knows what I'm talking about, homecoming meeting with dinner on the ground, but they're having a really good singing group up there. Uh, they're on YouTube, uh, I like them. It's a, they're an old school group called uh, Chris Holder and Dirty Home. I try to, every time they go, I to, I've even took vacation to go see them. So everybody have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Uh, let me know what you've done to get ready. Uh, besides, you know, what you've, if you've canning anything, what you've canned, if you're making purchases to, and I did make some purchases yesterday, just small ones. So, uh, everybody keep on preparing because, uh, I don't see this country turning around and getting any better anytime soon. So everybody have a great weekend. Take care and keep aware of your surroundings at all times because people are under a lot of stress and tension. And if it continues, people will start snapping. All right, everybody take care. God bless. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment on your thoughts on the situation over in the Middle East and what you've done to get ready. And adios, friends. I'll talk to you later.